morning cyber warriors and we're going to go over creating user accounts and passwords in today's quick little session in PowerShell alright so first thing we need to do is identify what commands are available for the local user since that is what we're going to be manipulating so get command and noun local user so PowerShell commands are broken up into two types. You have your verb and your noun. It allows you to identify what you're looking for. So we're going to look for anything doing with the local user. So enter. We have disable, enable, get, new, remove, rename, and set. All wonderful different options. We're only going to be using a couple of these today. All right. So first thing we need to do is identify what we have to do. We need to create new user accounts okay so first thing we want to do is the new local user right so sample new local user we're going to create tad his full name is tad eustace ghost all and description he is the host of Space Ghost, Coast to Coast. What did I forget? They have an important password, and it lets us know that that's what's required. So we're going to put in the password. So that is P A S S W O R D 1234. Very, very secure password. And this should never be used for anything outside of academia. But we want to create a couple more passwords and a couple more accounts. So, but we don't want to do that by doing the password after the fact. So, how do we get a password in as a variable that's secure? You know, you don't want someone walking behind you, seeing the string, and I didn't knowing what the password is. So that's actually it's fairly easy. But we have to create it as a variable, and a special kind of variable. So, password. Thank you. Oop. I haven't created the variable yet, so password equals read host. And this is a special read host, right? So read host normally just asks the user for the prompt to, at the to do an action. Uh, we're going to do this as a secure string. So this keeps it so that you don't actually see what's being typed in, and it prevents the system from being able to tattle on you. So hit enter, and it's waiting at the prompt, right? So we have to actually put in the password. So P A S S W O R D one two three four. So if you look at a variable normally, such as my docs, it actually tells you what's there. But if you put in password as the variable string means it's stored in the system and it's not going to tell you what that is. This is a good thing. So let's go in and let's create accounts for our other characters here on this. So we want Maltar. His full name is Maltar Kroger. And he is the director. What did we forget to add? The password. I like to put that up here in the front. And we just put in our variable. Password. Boom. Done. Easy. Simple. So that makes it a lot easier for creating the next account, right? So we just go in, we're going to change the name. And this is going to be Zorak. And he is Zorak Roberts. Boom. Oh, what did we do wrong? The description. He's not the director. This is the band leader. We need to fix that. So how do we fix that? So let's take a look at our commands again, right? So our commands for all of this is disable no enable no get no 
new we already did that remove I could remove it and start again but uh, rename don't want to do that set so set allows us to make changes to an account that already exists so let's actually do that set local user and this is Zorak we need to fix and we're simply going to fix the description and he is our band leader and he's not the director it doesn't really doesn't really tell us uh, whether or not that was successful. How do we check? Get local user, and we see Zorak is enabled, and he is our band leader. Isn't that lovely? So that is a simple way to go through and create our user accounts and make minor changes to things within them and I guess I'll see you in the next video